Welcome viewers, and today we're doing something different. We're doing a uh, short little video, short, it's going to be quite a long video actually, um, choosing some of the tracks, the Wii tracks, that I would like in Mario Kart 8. Even if I don't get Mario Kart 8, these are some of the tracks I'd like in there. And so we start off with Toad's Factory. Yeah. I'm just blew my nose. So the reason I like Toad's Factory in, <coughs> in America eh, is because, well, it's honestly a really good track. <laughs> I mean, they could have loads of off-road sections and underwater sections. For instance, here, they could technically, well, technically, they could have, like, if you fall off, they could have a slower, less direct route across the sides of the, um, the, um, what do you call it? The path, the pathway, whatever you want to call it. And these moving platforms could be like ramps or something like that. Could be anti gravity. This bit could be anti gravity quite easily. To just change this corner to anti gravity, like they do in the with the um, GBA, the Super Circuit, uh, Super Circuit. What do you call it? That's what I've got. The Super Circuit um, track, which they have currently shown off as being um, with the underground sections. This bit, oh, they could keep the shortcut, or they could make it a water section. It would probably be best if they kept it as a shortcut, because this is kind of pointless without it. And this bit, they could make more difficult for... They could... I don't know. <laughs> they, they 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 could give it more of a uh, their work, an anti gravity section, or they could give it something like that. So yeah, that's why I think it's be a good track because it could involve quite a lot of implements. I mean, it could technically involve. It could show the um. The making, like, of the tracks, so you could have instead of having like thick walls in in, in there, because as you can see there, there, there's walls you can't see anything. They could have like displays and show why it is a factory, which would be a neat idea. And they're just making anti gravity cars or off road sections or stuff like that off-road, um, anti-gravity sections, stuff like that is what makes differences. Just subtle ones, but either way, it still makes a difference. So, I'll do my next track. And of course it's DK Stumble Cross. But DK Stumble Cross, the reason I choose this track is because, well, it, once again it's a really good track, but it could do so well on on the um, better platforms such as the Wii U. So they could involve this cannon, like like they, like they do in this game, or they could have the hang gliding section, which they probably would include actually. Here they could keep the um, the, um, the rails, whatever you want to call them, half pipe rails or stuff, something like that. Anyway. I don't know. They could have some sort of thing coming off of there, like and gravity section or something like that. That would be interesting. Uh, here they could keep the jumps, so I'm not tricking off them for... I don't know, why not? Uh, yeah, they, they, they could make more item boxes up top over there. Because, well, they're, 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 there's only like three. And they take you offline a lot. And, and, wow. <laughs> and... So it'd be an idea to do that. Uh, if they did include it, I'd keep all this fake snow and all the um, fake snow, all this thick snow, and all the half pipe and this. Because this is just kind of fun, even if you're not racing. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This would be quite a good track, honestly. 
And so yeah, that brings you on to my next track. That was quite a short little one. So the next track, I might have chosen something from there, but uh, as you already know, the Grumble Volcano is going to be in the game. Supposedly, it looks like it's going to be in the game. And Cooper Cape and Maple Treeway have already been in a game, so we're going to go Dry Dry Ruins. I think this would be a good track because, well, once again, it could have loads of new features and everything else like they could have some sort of um, thing on the bridge over here um, like I don't know, they, they, they could make it just some sort of gimmicky thing and, and still have the pokey as well and the first corners you can't really do much there they, they could change the little like stack little the massive statues into something special. Here they could make the bats more lethal or something like that, or not keep the bats at all. Because bats, bats, bats are annoying in this game, and Mario games. Okay, I can't do the wall glitch. They could keep the wall glitch, but I doubt they would since it's meant to be a glitch, and that means it's not really planned by Nintendo. Yeah, the, these half pipes are fun. But they should be a quick way to get through without a mushroom and without getting items as well. Like in Maple Tree Bay with the the ramp, not ramp, the the hairpin and the the jump. That makes sense. They got rid of that, don't they? Uh, yeah, here they could keep the sand. I like the sand. Maybe have a few more pokies, make it a bit more difficult to go through here. Make it the worst option instead of going around the outside. Make it like a shortcut. Here, keep these two tricks. I like these two tricks. They're good. And keep this shortcut. This shortcut <coughs> is good. They could make it an anti-gravity section <laughs> if they really wanted to. I don't see why they would. That was slow. And keep the bee faces up here if you're using your bee. Yeah. So that's going to be maybe on to the last track. Technically, there's, if you count them up, there's been three and one has been announced already, so it's four. But I'm going to choose Bowser's Castle anyway. Because this, this track is so that I really want to see in later games. Like with N64 Bowser Castle or GBA Bowser Castle 3. I want this to make a comeback because, well, it has so many features you could change. Like, well, the first bit is fine. This bit you could change it to some sort of anti gravity section which flips you around or something like that, and then you could go like in, in a different route into the castle instead of like this. Like in Mario Kart 7, you could like go above or below or wherever. There could be a slow route and a fast route instead of one direct route. Or you could just keep it like this and keep all the ramps and tricks and everything because well, why not? I, I like that. Keep 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 the stairs. The stairs are fun. So here wh what you want is some sort of gliding mechanism, but get rid of the um, two half pipe bits over the other side, so as we see over here. You have the two half pipe sections, but I think if they want to make it like a hard Bowser's castle, well harder Bowser's castle, they should get rid of the ramp over there and make it into something where they have to drive through and be a bit dangerous. Because well, without it, it's a bit simple really. Keep the shortcut. I I, I mean I really can't do the shortcut. I mean I'll have a go, and if I succeed, it'll be the first time I've ever done it. That I didn't. So yeah, keep the shortcut. The shortcut's good. Uh, keep this bit because this bit can really save you time if you're like if you like pro and all that. You can get around there much quicker than anywhere else. The thwops are a good feature. And here you could keep that just as it is because it's a fine end to fine race. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and goodbye. Get up, get up.